Wait a second. What else is coming out of this thing? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Robin, and I'm here to introduce you to the hound. You'd hope the only thing that comes out of this grinder is salt. But hound can help us check if there's anything else we're grinding onto our food. Hound combines microscopy, Raman spectroscopy, and laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy, or LIBS. So that way you can see particles, count them, and identify them by their chemical and elemental composition. My worry with this plastic salt grinder is that microplastics are being released from this plastic grinding mechanism along with the salt. Because of this, I'm specifically looking to count, identify, and track down the source of any plastics that we find mixed in with our salt. Let's test this out by grinding some salt onto this gold-coated glass slide and popping it into Hound for analysis. Now we can see our particles and choose the area we want to scan. The reflective surface of the gold-coated glass provides high contrast for our dark field imaging. So that way we don't miss a single particle, especially when they're basically transparent. I let Hound know what particles to identify. Here, I'm going to identify 1,000 particles for a representative sample. I want Hound to use both the red 785 nanometer Raman laser and the green 532 nanometer Raman laser for each particle. Once I press start, I can get some work done while Hound identifies exactly what's coming out of this salt grinder. Hound is all done and waiting with our answers now. Thankfully, most of the particles are salt, but I want to check on the ones that aren't salt. Here, we see a bunch of polycarbonate particles. This is a common type of plastic. This grinder is made of plastic, but are the particles coming from the grinding mechanism itself? Let's take the actual grinding mechanism out of here to see if it's the same polycarbonate as the microplastics we just found in our salt. I already have a generic reference spectrum for polycarbonate, but I want to find the source of the polycarbonate in the salt. Every material has its own unique chemical signatures, and Raman is sensitive enough to pick up on these differences. I'm collecting spectra from the salt grinder to create a custom reference and determine if the polycarbonate in our salt is identical to the grinder. Once I have all the spectra that I need, I'll switch over to the Hound Analysis software, calculate an average spectrum, and add it to our new custom database. About half a percent of the particles were polycarbonate. Here's one of those plastic particles as an example. To get even more specific, we can look at that custom reference I just made and see these polycarbonate particles are definitely from the salt grinder. The generic polycarbonate Raman signal differs from the grinder specific polycarbonate in a few places. For example, look at around 300 wave number and between 1700 to 2800 wave number. Each peak provides information on the chemical bonds present in our sample. So these spectral differences reflect physical differences between the materials. Compare the same spectrum with the grinder and you see a closer match, suggesting fewer physical differences. Basically, what we're seeing here is that about half a percent of the particles coming out of the salt grinder are polycarbonate from the grinder itself. Plastics are everywhere and we use them almost daily, but they shed microparticles and some of those unfortunately end up in our food, drinking water, the ocean. Tracking down the source of microplastics is a first step towards preventing them from being released in the first place. Hound helps characterize and identify the source of microplastics or really any other particle type that may be present in your environment. Thanks for joining me today to learn about Hound. If you have any questions or want to learn more, please email info at unchainlabs.com and come back to tackle more science with Unchained Labs.